Oh my god. I'm like gonna cry. Actually, I'm gonna cry. We're popping bottles, bitch. Bottles. And standing on business. There was a lot of dance floor makeouts last night, guys. So this is what I got some berries. Of course a man was doing my pick my picks So I don't know if they're good. But I'm gonna have some berries and yogurt for my breakfast I love this yogurt because it is high protein 17 grams of protein And you know protein is so important. So I got that and then for other days of breakfast or for snack times I got apples and bananas to go with my other protein shakes like I have these Premier protein shakes that have 30 grams of protein that I like to give. So I like to pair that with a carb though, so it's staple. I got these as a little like dessert. I wanted to try them because I've been craving a little something sweet after I eat, you know what I mean? And it's like frozen and I like and it's safe to eat it raw. So that's why I got it. Um, I'm really not feeling well after my trip, so I got a bunch of stuff to make beef stew. Um, it's what I'm going to make tonight after my massage and then some lemon water for the morning, some extra butter, mini Diet Cokes because I've just been paying up on one of them, crackers to snack on, to snack on, pickles to snack on. I, everything, I like am a volume eater, so everything I get to snack on has to be low calorie, otherwise I will go into a coma. Um, and then I got some more cherry juice. I've been doing this at night with magnesium to go to sleep, and it really relaxes my muscles, so love it. Oh, and the whole reason I placed this order with Acme is because they have this Cheesecake Factory brown bread. So good, oh my god. vlogs. It's me, Alexis Barber, and I have some bad news for you. So the first thing is that one, I look terrible. Just gonna have to deal with that. Two is that I lost my little mini vlog camera in Colombia, and it actually has ruined my life, mood, and content, and I'm really upset because it had all my South Africa footage on it. It had so much footage on it, and like, Oh, I'm so mad. Like, I'm so mad. Couldn't vlog in Colombia. But I don't know if I would have wanted to because I did not have a good time. I mean, like, obviously there were fun moments and I enjoyed some parts of it. But if you can tell by my demeanor now, I'm run down after that trip. And I had a lot of, like, little, per like, honestly, a lot of personal things come up. And it was just a really hard few days. So I came, I went home for Thanksgiving. Let me do my face while I do this. I'm using Laneige Hydro Water Bank Serum. Um, it's so good. I went home for Thanksgiving on Wednesday. I got home Wednesday night. Went to Thanksgiving yesterday, and then last night I had a hard, I had a hard time at Thanksgiving. First Thanksgiving, post breakup, and I was like, I just want to go home, back to Philly because I need a few days to really just like come back to myself. I guess you just are kind of seeing me at like a low point right now. But it's okay, because we're gonna get, this is how we get back to a high point, all right? I just unpacked, cleaned, took an everything shower, and I booked myself a massage. This is something my therapist recommended I do because I have a really hard time relaxing and just being in my body, and so she recommended that I do massages. So if you ever see me getting a massage, it's because I am down bad. So I booked a massage. I just booked one at the Ritz Carlton here. I don't really know what like a good massage place is here, but there is one like that I keep seeing rescue spa, but every time I call to book with them, they're like, bitch, we're booked for months. So I don't know why you're fucking speaking to me. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Didn't realize that I was talking to 
Carbone, New York or something like that. Like, be so serious. Like, it's just insane. So, I um, got back today at noon and showed you guys. I was, like, prepping, getting back into things, got groceries. And then now I'm about to head and get my massage. And then I'll come back and have a chill night, I think. I was going to cook, but I realized that I booked a 90-minute massage. So I might not have time to cook. Um, and I might, I have like some Trader Joe's soup that I might just eat. And then I will cook. I got stuff to make a beef stew. And I think I'll make that tomorrow at lunch. And have that before school starts back up on Monday. Alright, there we go. Purr. So, yeah, I'm gonna prep for that. But first let me show you all the packages I have right now. My stomach is absolutely killing me. I'm not well. I don't know how I'm going to survive this massage. But let's unbox. First thing is from Lululemon, this Sherpa jacket. I might even wear this today. This is part of a deal I'm doing with them for full transparency. But it's this Sherpa jacket. It's like asymmetrical. So freaking cute. Now you, who are you? What do you like? Ah, my like face towels. Oh, my cut crowns. Facials, must haves. All right, next thing. This looks like it's PR. It says it's from L'Oreal. Giorgio Armani. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is it? Oh wow. It's all of their new lip colors. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited for this. I've been wanting to play with my lips a little bit more recently. Um, I have some like, it's like the holidays. I have some things coming up. So I can't wait to try all of those. Oh my god. Iconic. Okay. This is something I've been waiting for for a long time, and I am so excited! And it's from my mom, actually. Her name is Beyonce. Ah! It's the new Beyonce perfume. Oh my god. Okay, let me open it. Also, I need to get tickets for the Renaissance film. I definitely should be like filming this for Instagram, but I'm too excited. Ooh, box stunning. I might like just redo it. Oh my god. Okay, okay, wait. I'm gonna film a first impressions of it on TikTok. So if you see me open this again, no, you didn't. Okay, great. So now it is 353. I need to leave at 4.30, so I'm going to get dressed and go to my massage. Listening to the new Magic Jordan album, by the way. Um, you guys know it's my favorite artist, but I will say, um, I'm not obsessed with the new album. I think my favorite album by them is The Space Between. But the most recent album, I just feel like it's a little, like, slow for me. And as you guys know, I'm in a party girl era. So I'm going to need something I can dance to. Like, which is kind of more what the space between was. So anyway, um, I'm about to show you how I prep my hair for a blow dry and, like, the whole process, okay? So, starting out, we um, just rinsed heavily. I did an overnight hair mask that was Shea Moisture. And I, like, just rinsed really good. I was so bad at rinsing my hair growing up, and my aunt was always bad, like mad at me for it. So I do a really good job now. Now I'm gonna go in with this smooth and full blow dry balm. This is this controls frizz, and it is a heat protectant. So I put this on all over my head. I think some people like to like section their hair and then do all the products as they like get to that section. And I've tried that before, and I always forget. So I prep all of my hair all at once while it's in this pretty damp state. And then I will go in and blow dry and that way it just feels more efficient and like more cohesive to me. 
I'm using a lot of this because I want to make sure I get every single strand of hair. I always forget to put it on the roots, which is probably the most important place to put it. All right, next up. Next up, I take the Wow Dream Coat Extra Strength. So this is an anti-frizz treatment. I obviously have pretty curly hair and it frizzes really easily. So I just go through with this, do it all over my head. I find it makes a difference. How about let's spray on the hair, Alexis. Now I'm gonna go into my Denman brush and make sure all of that is evenly spread out. Good. Then a little bio silk. This is classic, honestly, from scalp to ends. This is just for shine. I don't use too much, but yeah, it makes it look a little silkier when you use this stuff, so. Now my hair is all prepped and I'm gonna use my red air. So I'll show it to you. Let me get it all plugged in. Okay, here's my setup. So I have my seat, my rev air, all my stuff. I'm watching something on my YouTube. I like to put on my headphones because it's pretty loud um, and listen to whatever I'm watching. So this is my new setup. And the rev air is basically this hair dryer that uses like reverse osmosis to prevent heat damage, but still blow dry your hair 10 times faster. I will show you like the first pieces, how I do that. Okay, I parted my hair into two, putting this side up to get it out of the way. And this is like the first section I'll do. And then I just do it in a couple of different sizes. And then I'll wrap this up here or like give it its own clip if I'm not being lazy. And then what you do with the rev air is you wrap. Oh, okay, let's let's just go everywhere. Turn that on. Grab this. Turn this power on. Here we go. So I just finished blow drying. I had this side like on the side for a little bit, but which is why it's curly, but it ended up taking like more like an hour um, to do both sides because I just wanted to do it really well. And now I'm gonna, so it's now 4.45. Obviously my nail appointment's at five. It's gonna take two hours and I need to go to Sephora. And so I'm not gonna cook. I'm gonna go to dinner with my friend Frank, which is like perfect because he texted right when we, Right when we, lol, right when I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to get my hair done. So I'll go to Sephora and then after dinner, I will come back and I will flat iron or I'll flat iron tomorrow. The blow dry is pretty good. You know what I mean? Like a flat iron isn't going to do so, so much for it. So I'm just going to slick my hair back and yeah, I'm excited. Frank is my friend. And I, he did not come to Colombia, so I feel like it'll be nice to catch up with him and tell him all the hot gossip of what went down in Colombia. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so they only took an hour on my nails. Thank God red is back. Literally, I had red, and I've had red since July, and I got back, and my, or in Colombia, I had pink, and my friends were like, who are you? We don't know who this is. So, um, I went and got, went back to red, and then I ran to Sephora. I'll show you what I got in the morning, because now I, I just want to make sure I get this flat iron done. I'm not getting dinner until 7.30. Can't wait to see Frank. Okay. All right. Now we're flat ironing. Um, just like a mess. I don't know why. And I'm going to have a soup dumpling before, because they only think I'm eating today. Saltine so crackers, so. Okay, so for reference, this is my hair flat ironed versus not. I was trying to do some curls at the bottom, it didn't work, so I brushed them out. But that's sort of what it looks like. 
the difference between the Rev Air and then the flat iron. It only took me like 10 minutes to do that, so. Good morning, friends. It's 7.30 a.m. on Monday. So this week and next are pretty busy because this week is the last week of classes. Next week is exam season. Um, so it's getting a little busy over here. Next week is also my birthday. So there's lots to be done. Um, I have a bunch of things on the to-do list today. And honestly, yesterday I was feeling a ton of anxiety about all of it. And um, today as well. But I had to really reel it in and be like, okay, we're anxious, we're overwhelmed, this is stressful. But at the same time, I have all the tools to do it. And like, this is just... A stressful few days it is not a lifestyle it is not you know gonna be like this all the time so I just want to like get it done like instead of focusing on how stressed I am I just need to execute you know what I mean so doing that right now so I woke up around 5 40 and then I went ahead which was like an hour ago and I did a little morning routine that was like all really focused on me so I got up, I gua shot, I listened to affirmations, I did journaling, I drank lemon water, I meditated with my legs up. I did all those little things and now I feel way more, still feel like a small sense of anxiety, but a way more clear approach to my day, which is great. And now um, I did all my skincare and everything, so I just don't really do well working in my house so I am just gonna go to campus early it's only 6 45 a.m. but I need to be out of my house so I'm gonna go to Huntsman which is the school and I'm going to do work so yeah right now I'm just touching my hair up um, this will be interesting it'll be like our first day back at school since Columbia and I made so many new friends in Colombia. I hope I get to see them today. My ends are so burnt. Also, guys, I'm thinking of getting keratin when I'm home for Christmas because I straighten my hair so much, you know? But I'm like, do you think that would, like, damage my hair? I don't know. I lost so much hair from this last round of braids. Like, I got braids four out of 12, the 12 months this year. And I honestly, like, I think I look my best with braids, but at the same time, I, like, lose a lot of hair. Like, my hair is definitely thinning from it, so, like, I was so diligent last night. I was like, I'm taking my fucking Nutrafol because I will not go through this again. Um, and basically, I was like, okay, wait, I don't think I can get braids again for a little bit. So, that's sort of where we stand right now with that whole situation. But yeah, I don't know if I should get keratin because maybe that would just like mess up my hair. Who knows, but all right, I'm gonna do this and then get dressed and we'll go to school. Okay, so let me show you like the snacks I bring every day. Like these make up 90% of my diet. Like it's kind of a problem. My Premier Protein Shakes, they're 30 grams. They're like easy to drink. I definitely look like a grandma drinking this in front of people. Um, I don't care. Chomps, one thing about me. I'm gonna eat some beef jerky. Yeah, love her down. She's so good. Um, nine grams of protein, love. 20 grams of protein, think thin bar. At this point, what are we at? We're at 30, 40, 60 grams of protein. That's literally like, I eat all three of these snacks and then I adding an apple because in the morning, what I think I'm gonna do for breakfast, or what I do for breakfast is I usually have a think thin bar or a protein, I have one of these, like a protein, but I feel like I need a carb with it, and I end up just buying a croissant at like school, and I was like, I don't think that's like the healthiest carb I could be having. So I got a bunch of fruit this week um, at the grocery store, and so I'm bringing an apple, and I'm gonna see if that makes me feel like good. So I'm gonna do these for breakfast today, and then my snacks throughout the day will be these two, because I won't be back in the apartment until at least 6 p.m. I have Oh, well, what even is on the calendar today? We have, I 
even know where to put you. Basically, we have today, I'm going to work there. I have a meeting with my TA for a presentation I have tomorrow. Then I have home, I'm gonna do a bunch of homework. Then I have class, legal studies at noon. Then I have statistics at 145. Then I have marketing at 340, at 330. And then I have a meeting with my legal studies group because we have a presentation on Wednesday. And that is what we're doing today. So it's a busy day and then I'll come back here. If I am like good and I feel like happy, then I'll work out. If not, that'll suck. That's all. Let's go to work. School, same thing. Hey guys, just returned from, no I didn't return from school an hour and a half ago. Um, and today just had class, then I stayed there for a while. A lot was going on. It's the last day of our Black Friday sale, so I was working on two collective stuff, doing brand deals, emails. Okay, the hair's just not gonna look good, all right. Now I'm home, and I was gonna have some of my beef stew, but I messed up today. I had Chipotle at like 4.45 p.m., so I'm not hungry, and I was gonna force myself to eat, and then I was like, if you're not hungry, don't eat. So uh, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. I just edited and posted a Columbia TikTok vlog, and now I need to write it, or finish writing and practice a speech because I have an 8.30 a.m. persuasive speech I need to give tomorrow. We do a required communications class for all MBA students here, and you have to deliver a five minute persuasive speech as your final, and that is what I'm doing tomorrow, and I'm writing it about why women should not should reconsider or move away from hormonal birth control. You guys know my hormonal birth control story and how it was ruining my life. I learned so much when I researched it. So I'm really excited because um, it's like been fun to write and like test my skills and like the skills are actually applicable to things like podcasting. So I went ahead and I wrote it today. I went over with my TA, but I need to make my edits and then finalize it and then I'm gonna practice it before I go to bed, and then I'm gonna wake up early and practice it too, obviously. And I think I'm gonna catch up on Housewives because all three of my favorite franchises, are, or all four of my favorite franchises are on right now. Salt Lake City, Potomac, New York, or Beverly Hills, and Miami are all on right now. And I feel so behind, plus there's the new, episode, the new Crown, there's the Gilded Age, there's so much going on, and I just don't have time to watch anything. But I still need to be in bed by 10, and it's eight, so. Let's shower and chill. today at God knows what time at 8.30 a.m. Well technically it'll be 9.30 because I'm going last but I need to finish writing it and practicing it and I am exhausted and I didn't work on it last night like I said I was going to because hmm, I got distracted chatting with my friends the story of my life and now, paying for it. So let's do it. Finished writing it. Now I'm gonna practice. I just printed it out. Having a printer is such an adult thing that I do. It's so crazy, man. So crazy, man. Okay, you guys are gonna be my practice. All right, I have a five, it's, five, it's a five minute speech. I'll obviously not do five minutes here, but. Here we go. Here we go. If we had crossed paths a year ago, you wouldn't have recognized me. I was battling with clinical depression, carrying an extra 30 pound. See, this is my problem. I gotta speak it out. Carrying an extra 30 pounds and plagued by consistent like, breakouts. Ugh. Ugh. I can't do this in front of the camera. Love you though. So I practiced and I'm in a good place except for the fact that 
I, it's like 5 minutes and 30 seconds and it can only be 5 minutes, so I need to, I had to shorten it a little bit. So I'm going to practice it with the shortened version while I get ready. In a desperate New Year's resolution to reclaim my life, I did a ton of research by reading books and consulting functional and medical doctors about birth con at the effects of birth control on my body. What I found made me determined to rid my body of these hormones, which I did, and now I have achieved a natural healthy weight, enjoy seamless medical m menstrual cycles, and most importantly, am free from the grips of depression. Today, I want to implore women to move away from hormonal birth control by doing their own research, leading us to be have a healthier and happier society. It's estimated that 100 million women around the world use hormonal birth control, and if you're like me, you may have been prescribed it as a teenager to control painful periods, manage acne, or to manage or or migraines. They don't email you or anything. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, my friend Tammy just made Forbes 30 under 30. Oh my god. Tamaleo. I'll talk. Tamaleo. 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 Or so you're under 30. This is such a big deal. I'm so excited for her. You apparently like don't find out if you make it until like the day of. So she just found out, which is like such a big deal. Um, we need to celebrate her immediately. So this is my outfit today. Um, doing this little cardigan and these jeans. It's just like an outfit I feel really comfortable in for my presentation. And then I'm gonna head to campus now. Yeah. Love you. See you later. Okay, guys. First of all, look at the sunset. That's insane. Stunning. Um, I got back from class. I didn't vlog at all at school. I'm sorry. But I'm home because I've been between classes and emails and work trying to plan a little we impromptu celebration for Temi because Forbes 30 under 30 is so big. So um, we order. I ordered these balloons. I use the Party City same day delivery. We got 30 of you 30. And then I went and got some moe. We're popping bottles, bitch. Bottles. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just like so happy because like not me having a friend who's Forbes 30 under 30. Like I just feel so blessed and honored that I get to know people like this. And I just like I am. I didn't realize that I could be this happy for another person ever. So. And the way I show that is by showering gifts on someone. So got we got Moe for our friend group. We're gonna have like a little toast at my apartment or like me and a couple of our friends live in this building. So at our apartment. And then look what I got. They had this special edition Moe that says, apparently Moe is her favorite. So that says, can you see that? It says, you are going places. I'm just so excited. Like, I'm so freaking happy. I'm just like, wow, what a beautiful life I live. What a beautiful life my friends live. Like, come on. So I got all that figured out. Um, and now I'm going to give her a robe. And this is just such a big accomplishment. Like, Temi is so accomplished and, like, smart and incredible. And she deserves all the recognition in the world. So I'm so happy. Anyway, now I need to do probably some work, some content, something. I have like two hours. I'm about to warm up my soup, sit here, eat, and vibe. So chat with you soon, team. I'm trying to find a bakery that can do a cake that says standing on business in the next hour. For today? It would be for today. Uh, but I'm just curious, like, what does it look like, the biscuits? What do you mean by that? I'll call you right back. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Well, I don't understand the Paris baguette. They said that they have fucking biscuits. What am I going to do with a biscuit? Um, I'm looking if, to see if it's possible to do a quick custom cake with a cute little message on it um, for some time tonight. The custom cake with what on it? Just a, any cake, honestly, um, in terms uh -huh. of flavor. But I just wanted to say standing on business. Like writing, like why? Yes, yes. Standing on business? Yes. And it is free. Holy oh, oh, yeah. No, not I don't. <laughs> but I should get on there. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I'm taking a shot to tell me. I'm still here with the same people that.
that I started with. Girl, yes. yes. bigger wins mm -hmm. to bigger things. Uh -huh. And all of us. Yes. Uh -huh. And standing on business. Morning team. We had so much fun celebrating Temi last night. It's Wednesday now. And I just got in a ton of packages from my Black Friday shopping. So I want to show you everything I got. Um, and then I need to do a bunch of stuff. And then I have a huge presentation at noon that I haven't even looked at. Basically, it's like, how do I want to organize this? I don't know. I show you all these things. Um, a big presentation at noon for my legal studies class. And my legal studies class is about like the ethics of business. And so we have to present on a big corporate scandal. And so my group's presenting on Theranos. And the way they did it is like four people were supposed to make the content and then two of us will present it. So I have to look at the presentation and like the content and then present it. So that's what I'm going to do. But first, I'm going to show you all this. And then oh, I can't even believe I have this much to do. Oh, my God. I'm also so stressed out because I ordered three dresses from House of CB, which you know is like a thousand fucking dollars to wear because tomorrow we have a big gala and then Saturday we have a big gala. So I ordered three, like I even ordered one backup and it said it would all be here yesterday, which is Tuesday and it's not here and it says it's in Kentucky now, but like I just, I then for, because it wasn't showing up where it was, I frantically ordered backups on Revolve yesterday. It just means I'm gonna have so many returns, girl. I got so many returns. I'm gonna wear this today, literally. I got this snap pullover from Outdoor Voices. Um, I just like feel like this little look of the fleece and leggings is such a like vibe for me. That's just it's just so yeah. Like I just love doing that. And I was gonna wear it today actually, but I have to wear a turtleneck so I can look like Theranos. Then I got these Jacquemus socks for, I'm going on two ski trips and I just feel like this would be cute for a little ski trip look. This is an absolutely insane and unnecessary purchase by the way, but they're really cute. Uh, this is all from Shopbop by the way. They had a 25% off sale and I was trying to get things that I like knew I would need for the future. What did I, but I blacked out, so I don't remember what I got. Jeans, high rise, slim, straight, AG jeans. Okay, don't know why I purchased that. We're gonna keep that one, because we don't know if we need these. We gonna have to try them on, we gonna have to try them on. Next, oh, what's this? Alexis, did you need another fur coat? I don't think you did. Oh, I did need this one. I did, I did, I did. For like formal wear, you know? You know? I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow to the gala. Cause you know you need, you need a little jacket sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, love, love. And then the pride and joy of this order. I got this bag from Stodd. I've been eyeing these bags for like so long and I feel like this one is the most like me, the most like going to fit in my closet for the longest time. So I'm so excited. It's actually really big too. I feel like this is actually a really functional purchase because it's so large and you could put so much in there for like a day, but it could also be due at night. Yeah. Wow. I'm a genius. Now, leather pants, oh my god, so I don't have any good leather pants right now, and I feel like there's been multiple nights where I'm like, I don't want to wear black jeans again. So, got these leather pants, and these are by the brand Blank NYC. Casual, and they sort of flare out at the bottom. Cute, Alexis, we still have to try them on. Still have to try them on because you never know these days. You never know what's gonna fit and what's not. Next and final biggest purchase because I'm going on two ski trips. I'm going on one in January to Europe. We're going to St. Anton 
Um, and then I'm going on one in Europe, one to Park City, Utah with all the other, like we do this big black ski trip. And that for that, I was like, obviously I need to get these fits off. Like that apres ski black girl Pinterest aesthetic. Obviously, I have a Pinterest board for it. So, you know, I had to do it to them. Moon boots. You know, I had to do it to them. I got black furry moon boots. I considered getting silver, but I felt like these would be more versatile. The fur is definitely stupid because it's probably gonna get matted from the snow, but wow. Wait, let's try these on. This feels inc incredible. Whoa. Wait, I, I didn't really know if they were gonna be comfy or not, but we. So the moon boots, it's like, it doesn't matter what foot you put it on apparently. Oh. oh, oh, not me eating. Oh, purr. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I'll go ahead and keep those on for the remainder of the haul. So then I did a ton of Amazon shopping, and obviously I had to get a new camera or a new little vlog camera. So got a new... DJI Pocket, which is what I use to do my vlogging. I have to go set this up now so I can vlog for you today. Um, but I got the Creator Bundle this time. Comes with this selfie stick, a SD card, and oh, and a carrying case. That'll be good. Love. And then I did some Amazon. So I realized after going to Columbia and getting a tan how much better I feel with the tan and I've done self tanner before I actually worked with Bondi Sands on with this product before so I'm going to Do it again because I feel like in the winter. I just need it and I'm not going anywhere Actually, I'm going to Miami, but in Miami, you never know if like you're gonna be outside or not. So chomps. Oh my chomps I ordered my chomps because I Have a chomp every day Every day of my life and I order these and my protein bars on Amazon and I just have them come every so often Okay, what else is here? What else is new? Oh, so I got after I got my braids done I can't fully open this right now, but after I got braids four times in the last year I feel like I lost so much hair and so much thickness So I want to work on regrowing my hair, but I'm also in a mood where I don't like my natural hair so when I do my wash days every week I want to like stimulate hair growth. So this is a scalp massager that is something that's like you don't usually grab for yourself, but it was Black Friday, so you did. And then I also get my razors in bulk because I just use one razor on my whole body like every two days and then I throw it away. That's my life. And then I follow this girl on TikTok who does really good skincare content about gua sha and stuff. And I really hate using oil to gua sha. It just doesn't feel like... I don't know, I just don't have a good oil. So she recommends using ultrasound gel. So I ordered this ultrasound mm -hmm. gel and I'm gonna start gua sha with it. It's really ugly, but we gon' see. And then I have one PR package from Milani. All my PR still goes to my New York address, which is a problem, but a very happy holidays to you from Milani. Well, this is kind of cute. Cute. Okay, this is like a palette, a bunch of stuff in here. This is cute. Okay, cool. I'll keep this in the bag. It's nice. Love. Thank you, Milani. Okay. Um, except everything got here except for what I fucking needed, which is my dresses for the gala tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to sit with my computer for a little bit and look at what the hell is going on because... Usually, like, last night I would have done a to-do list for the day. <laughs> Didn't because I was at the bar with Temi. I still went to bed by 10. I'm a good girl. But, yeah, let's go ahead and make a this recipe and do this. I'm not taking these boots off, by the way. Today is 
November 30th and it's a long day ahead. I just, I mean, I woke up, I went on a walk and now, and I recorded a podcast episode. I'm about to shoot a brand deal and then I need to go to campus because my Wi-Fi in my apartment is so bad that I cannot upload or do anything here effectively. So I'm just doing what I have to do here and then I'm leaving to go to campus. So I am going to do that right now. Um, and then tonight we have a big gala. So we have something called, for our Private Equity and Venture Capital Club, they do um, a big gala every year and it's Met Gala themed. And so I'm waiting on my dresses. They're not here yet. I ordered three dresses from House of CB and they're not here and I'm freaking out. I'm like waiting for fucking UPS to get here. And I, so we're gonna get dressed, we're gonna have fun and I have class. So yeah, we're, let's have a good day, TBH. Let's go to school. on so I can decide what to do with my hair, but I can't put the dress on until I steam it because it's wrinkled. I, I fully got new eyeliner to wear um, because I knew I wanted to do like good eyeliner for this event. Oh, are you already on? And I can't find it anywhere. It was like a nice eyeliner too. Can't find it anywhere. Anyway, it's fine, I use my old one. But I don't know what to do with my hair. Let's at least warm up this flat iron because we know we're going to be using her. I'm thinking of doing a party pony with some strands in the front because this to cover up this pimple that decided to arise this morning out of pure disrespect for my intentions and lifestyle. So that's rude. I'm really unhappy about her existence. But we might try that. Wait, like, the pimple is so bad. It's so bad! so much fun last night like it was so fun but when I was rushing to get ready I like didn't eat a full dinner so the alcohol hit me real hard and I've had, and I'm hung over today I'm about to go to spread bagelry which is like the best bagel spot in Philly it's so good and me and my friends go there after every like event every morning to talk shit there was a lot of dance floor makeouts last night, guys. Lots of people were making out. Not me, because I've sworn off Wharton men. They all played me. Um, so, we're gonna go talk shit. <laughs> oh, I'm Urine! Urine! Wait, I'm so mad I wasn't in that. They're cute. They're kind of cute. All right, guys, heading to go to Whitney M. Young, which is a big conference we do here every year. Um, it's hosted by the African American Students Association. And we have like speakers, like the chairman of Jordan Brand is gonna be here today. So we're gonna go to that. And then I have a group project to work on afterwards. So this is my outfit. Um, I'm doing this black sweater dress and then just my knee high boots, um, long coat and stuff. Like it's kind of business professional, but we're not staying that long. And then I'm gonna go work afterwards. So let's do it. Love you. Hey, 
your book and how selling some shoes is not that serious. If we if we you know <laughs> shoot up the sale the way we thought it was Good morning. We're going on a Saturday mental health walk. Oh Ooh. Ow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness, my whole body just did things. Okay, um so Yesterday we had Whitney and Myung, came home, rotted all night. And then today I woke up, I was gonna wake up early, but I didn't set an alarm, thinking I would naturally wake up at 5 a.m. No, woke up at 6.30, laid in bed till now, it's eight. Um, and I have a lot of work I wanna get done before I go to the conference today at 11.30. So I'm gonna do a mental health walk because I haven't been feeling, uh, I've been feeling like anxious and overwhelmed recently and that's when my like morning routine is most important for me to do and um, so I'm gonna go on my walk come back and then do some editing and content work and I want to have most of it done before I head out at 11:30. after that go to the conference I think after that I'm gonna go to the gym and then get ready for the gala tonight which is at 7 so yeah I don't like my dress and there's no good stores in Philadelphia to get dresses so the vibes are terrible, but whatever, mate. Um, let's go ahead and get to this walk. Turns out I really didn't need to look for another dress because this one's eating. Curl my hair, red lip. Oh, and red nails. Hmm, look at me. This is my first time doing a red lip, I think as an adult, and I'm coming up. I am obsessed. Let's go. We made it to the gala. <laughs> 